together and, and prove that, you know, Filipino culture is something that can't be reckoned with. I am Desi Dan Gannon, Chair of Economic Development for Soma Filipinas and the Executive Director of Cultivate Labs, the producer of Undiscovered SF. Discovered SF is the public awareness piece for Soma Filipinas so that the rest of the city in the Bay Area knows that Soma Filipinas exists. And it's also our economic development platform so we can start to incubate new and vibrant Filipino businesses to start to build the cultural district. I just got here at Pinoy Heritage and I found this awesome bok choy noodle soup. Homemade noodles from Francis Ong, who took a trip all the way to the Philippines and discovered for six months how to make this and how to put these ingredients together. Oh yeah, real comforting. Gosh, the Filipino night market is amazing. I mean, you get all these different people coming out here to share one culture. that there was a market with like a lot of Filipino food. It was like, oh, that's the closest thing I have to home right now. So it's like, I'm gonna try everything, you know? Sisig fried rice. Adobo wings and some Pinoy sliders. Three different, Three different flavors, kinds. Yeah. And ube taro. I mean, I haven't tried the adobo wings yet, but just the smell of it brings back like, childhood memories. Just being in the kitchen and that being a big part of our culture is food. Bibinka is just made out of salted egg and cheese. But here we put a twist on it, you know. Why not have Nutella, Rocky Road, Ham and Asiago, Dulce de Leche with walnuts. We also have blueberry, the ube flan, ube macapuno, and ube langka. We're not just limiting it to just the classic with salted egg and cheese. We try to cook food that you don't normally find from Filipino food vendors, like the lechon, for example. Uh, it's something that it took years to come up with, uh, how to, to perfect, to get the skin just right, the flavor, and it's our one of our most popular dishes, and people love it. Starting Jeepney Guy was is kind of me trying to chase a dream that I've had for a long time. When I got tired of the corporate world, I decided it was I wanted to give it a try and see if people would actually like our food. Uh, I think this is a wonderful opportunity for uh, just Filipino culture to shine. Everybody keeps saying Filipino food is, is, is the next big thing. Uh, I think it's already big. And to have all of us here together, it's just, uh, it, it blows my mind sometimes just that there's so many of us uh, bringing, bringing Filipino food to the city, finally. I'm Alex Lumpia Chef Rototo, the owner of the Lumpia Company. The food that I create is it, it, basically the Filipino American experience. I wasn't a chef to start with, uh, but I really love Lumpia. So my food is my favorite foods I like to eat put into my favorite Filipino food put together. It's not based off of uh, recipes I learned from my mom. Maybe I learned the rolling technique from my mom but the different things that I put in are just things that I like, and I, I like to think I have good taste. Well, the very first Lumpia uh, that we came out with that really built the Lumpia company, all right? It, it wasn't pure pork and shrimp Shanghai, which is one of my favorite things, but my favorite thing late night after partying is, is that bacon cheeseburger. And I just thought, uh, what if we put that inside of a lumpia? I've been around for quite a long time. I may have a young heart, but I started in San Francisco as a nightclub promoter. This event here, Undiscovered, brings me back 20 years to when that excitement um, was there because it was a one time in our generation where we didn't have our own events, our own food to eat. And we created that because we had, no, we had nowhere else to go but create our own entertainment. 
before I used to promote Filipino gatherings to share the love. Now I'm taking the, the most exciting Filipino appetizer and sharing the love with more than just Filipinos. So what you're gonna start to see is Undiscovered move around in different locations. It could happen in the San Francisco Mint. It could happen in a public park. It could happen uh, on a street block. It could happen in a tech campus. It can happen anywhere. Space is just hardware. What we bring is culture, the operating system. So right now I'm eating a lechon salad from uh, the Jipney guy. It brings me back to every Filipino party from my childhood. Having lechon, having a big celebration with family. It's really cool to like be part of the community and reconnect with the neighborhood. One of our largest challenges in creating this cultural district when we compare ourselves to Chinatown, Japantown, or even Little Saigon, is that there are businesses of those communities there that act as placemakers. When you enter into Soma Filipinas, you look around and you go, where are the Filipino businesses? And that's one of the challenges we're trying to solve. Discovery wouldn't have been possible without the support of the mayor and the Soma Stabilization Fund and of all of our community partners out there. Uh, we are a nonprofit venture, so producing Undiscovered actually costs us nearly $50,000 every event. Undiscover it is a great tool for the cultural district to bring awareness by bringing the best components of our culture, which is food, dance, music, the arts, and activism, all under one roof. And by seeing it all in display, uh, what that allows the San Franciscans to see the dynamicism of Filipino American culture. Peace, love, unity, and respect. I think in San Francisco, we've kind of lost track of one of our values uh, that makes San Francisco unique, which is just empathy, of love, of being accepting of different people, the outliers, uh, the crazy ones. And we've been so focused on making money, we forgot about the love of, of diversity that makes our, our, our community and our, our city unique. And when people come to Undiscover, I want them to rediscover that energy again of what the magic of diversity and empathy can create. And when you can create that magic and you're intentional about using that energy, then we can really change the world.